Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is currently 8.30 p.m. I'm in the kitchen trying to clean up a little bit before I put Mia to bed. This morning I came home and uh, you know last night I went to work and I was just not in the mood. I wasn't, I don't even know what was wrong. I just was not in the mood. I was having one of those days where I'm just in a mood and I can't even explain it. I Anyways, this morning I stopped by the store. I bought a thing of cherries. I wish I had a container I could put them in. I want to put the cherries in a container because I don't want to continue keeping them in this. So we're going to try putting them in this bowl. Let's put it all down so y'all can kind of see. So um, I, I was just in... A, a mood at work and I can't even explain what the mood really was but you know just one of those days where you're not really feeling it I guess so that was the day I was having anyways I pushed through the shift because last night was a shift that I picked up I think what irritated me oh no last night actually wasn't the shift that I picked up I was the night before that but um yeah however today I'm so forever grateful to right now have my mom here where I have a little bit of help with me because today I was able to sleep for about six hours straight um and you know my mom was here just having her I remember she came into the room at one point and she basically um was like changing her diaper and tried changing her clothes because when I came home in the morning I made sure that I went through got her ready for the day did her hair changed her clothes and everything and so she's basically ready to go and it's not like we had a discussion where my mom would have just taken her and had her the entire day but like this morning when I came home I was so very tired because guess what is it on the floor last night i'm at work and we go in the room that we typically go in to sleep and everything and i want to lie down just fine this doctor kept coming in there and she did that the night before too just busting the door open and just slamming it no decorum no consideration no thought for anybody else and she saw us laying down sleeping and i really had to just pop my head up and take my sleep mask off and just look at her because girl are you so serious right now you know the first night i never said anything last night she did too and i didn't even say anything to her at the time because at this point last night you know when she did it, i jumped up with the absolute worst headache i couldn't even process me is in the living room trying to stand but i have my phone on the floor recording her anyways you know i couldn't even process what was going on let alone think about even saying something to her in that moment because what the heck all the doctors know that we sleep in there every single night no issues and this lady is just like a tornado or something just blowing the place down just not great at all i'm not even kidding just not a good experience i'm putting away the utensils and stuff i'm just there and i'm like this lady absolutely cannot be serious right now just coming in here like that and you know what the worst part was she did it twice and then I'm like, whatever. At one point, I was just sleeping for 30 minutes when she did it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this sleep is just not going to be great. At this point, my head is already hurting. Just nothing is going great because be freaking for real. And yes, I get it. You have to use the bathroom. But keep in mind, there's another bathroom around the corner that she could have used. She didn't have to come in there. Honey, leave that. She finally figured out how to pick up the pieces off of the little ABC mat and she's okay she's growing and exploring and that's just the situation and we're working with it but um there was another bathroom that she could have gone and used and nobody is asking you to inconvenience yourself but also remember the other people while you're because she could have come in the room and come out and nobody would have known that she came in and used the bathroom because she didn't have to be that loud and it was just her being loud that was so irritating and just no decorum no bra topsy no nothing no consideration for the other person like not great so that's how last night went and then this morning she came out and she was like 
hi i couldn't even fake it enough to answer her say hi or be nice and i felt like that would have been the opportune time to say oh hey by the way if you come in the room and we're sleeping you really have to try and keep it down a little bit you know but i'm just like i never even thought about it i'm just looking at her like she can't be for real right now like girl i'm not talking to you that's the one thing that was going through my mind anyways that was the night last night so i came home this morning and i was so very tired hi honey and that's how i ended up sleeping when i came home this morning because i was so tired one of my co-workers that i prepared a baby shower gift for a couple of weeks ago she gave me this little cup and like a, a nice little bag with a thank you card and everything i'm definitely saving the card because you guys know that i love a card just basically saying thank you for the fact that i you know bought something from her registry and gave her uh baby shower gift which was really nice you know um i'm currently in the kitchen and i'm trying to put away all of the things out of the dish drying rack because i do not like seeing it when it's full i really don't like seeing it when it's full so i'm trying to take all the stuff out of there and stuff like that um we made some we made some stew chicken and some provision dumpling and stuff like that so very good so very good did she tell me that she don't like dumplings i think maybe she told me that she don't like dumplings so also right now one of the patients knocked her in her mouth at some point and like one of her tooth came out she can't eat no dumplings right now actually she's gonna think i'm playing in her face if i try bringing her some dumplings right now but i'm just this morning i stopped by the store i bought the cherries i bought some sweet potato because my mom said to bring some sweet potato i think she was gonna make potato pudding and some um coconut cream so i ended up buying that and i bought some bananas too because i really do like bananas and i bought some oranges hi honey so i'm um, yeah but um mom just got out of the shower it's currently it's not nine o'clock yet i really like to start getting mia together for bed around nine o'clock these days because once you give her a bath and you you know she's ready to go down and i don't want her to go down too early and then you know wake up and stuff because i don't want her to wake up in the night on my mom and stuff like that so i'm kind of waiting it out but also she's very groggy and very tired so maybe i'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and um clean her up and, and put her down because she's she's not really having a good time right now hey mommy hey mama she's not having a good time right now so we're gonna do that but i wanted to pop in and say hi check in with you guys see what's up okay okay bye so guys i literally just remembered i put my hair back up because i'm not quite ready to leave yet and i want to um you know when i'm ready to leave i want to just take it out and it still looks presentable or whatever but um i mia is at this stage right now where she's going around and she's exploring and like all of that look in the mirror when you're putting it on good on this one on the door so um yeah she's at this stage where she's exploring standing so i'll be putting her in the little hallway right here honey that's not clean So I keep putting her and all of her things, see, in the hallway where she can explore. But the socks that she currently has, they are giving her a run for her money. So I got her these ones. These might be a little bit bigger than her. What size did I get this in? I think I got it in 6 to 12 months, but it looks like they're big. They are. These ones with the little grips underneath the bottom, like the hospital socks, so that when she's, um... I mean, she's going to grow into them, so it's fine. So that when she's standing, these pieces are sticking to the floor and she's not, like, sliding all over the place because that is the issue that I'm currently having. Like, she's she's slipping and sliding. So I think that makes her also afraid to stand up. So, um, yeah. So I bought these on Amazon just so we could have these ones on hand for right now. But I'm going to buy her some more on, like, Shein because, you know, cheap. And, um, I mean, this wasn't too expensive. It was ten. It was $10.00. But it's only five pairs two four six pairs actually and i thought it was a dozen pairs in the pack so mm. no 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 i'll take that my love thank you i'm telling you she's at this stage right now where she's getting into everything and i'm definitely not mad because as you guys know i think i've expressed on here before there is no form of i cannot remember a time where i've gotten frustrated with her because she was getting into things and i feel like that has a lot to do with having your kids as an adult okay i really thought that this pack had a dozen pairs that's crazy 
It doesn't even say anything about having five pairs. Would I get it in? Three to 12 months. There's no way this can fit a three month old on this. They're chunkier than me, but me are so skinny. I'm gonna try fitting one on her right now and seeing what it looks like. I'm also about to basically kind of get her ready for bed. Let's try the gray one on her. My love, you, you touching the dirty stuff. The dirty, dirty. Huh? You touching the dirty, dirty. Oh, actually, it's fine for her right now, but as a newborn, it wouldn't have worked. So the stage that she's at right now, I think it works. It fits her just fine. Um, but as a newborn, I don't think that this would have worked. It would have been too big. But these are good. I just need to get some more. Actually, right now, it's a few things that I have to get her. But um, I've just been waiting. I have to get her Aquaphor. Um, I have to get her these socks. And just a few other things. But these are lovely. I'm going to link these in my Amazon storefront if you want to get these for your babies. 